Hi there, welcome to my channel, it's Alex Hui. In this video, I'll be introducing you a form of medical Qigong called the Five Animals Qigong. If you didn't get a chance to look at my videos regarding Qi and what is Qigong, please click the link here. Qigong is not merely a physical form of exercise. It is actually combining your mind, body, and spirit, and it has many benefits to your health. First of all, physical benefits. By doing Qigong, it can help you to maintain a good and healthy physical body. For example, it can improve your circulation, improve your muscle strength, your flexibility, and your balance. Number two, mental benefits. Nowadays, many people are very stressed about work, job, family, life. However, by doing Qigong, it can help you to relax your state of mind, relax your mind and body, and help you to get rid of negative emotions such as anger or fear. Number three, prevention. By doing Qigong, it can help you to boost your vital energy. Therefore, you can prevent the disease from happening on the first place. Because in Chinese medicine, it's always said that we have to prevent the disease before its onset. Number four, healing. By doing Qigong, it can help you to boost your vital qi. Therefore, it can help in the healing process. Therefore, no matter one has any types of disease, doing Qigong is definitely a very good supplement to help in the recovering process. There are many versions of the five animals Qigong, and I've actually learned more than one of the versions. However, in this video and the upcoming five weeks, I will be talking about the version that has been taught to me by Dr. Wilson Wu, who taught this in the Qigong class in the medical school where I've learned Chinese medicine. So five animals, what five animals is it? So they are the tiger, the deer, the bear, the monkey, and the bird. Each of the five animals corresponds to one of the five elements. If you didn't get a chance to see my video about five elements, click the link here. Now I'm gonna show you a preview of how the five animal Qigong looks like. How's the five animal Qigong? Comment below, what do you think? 
Now, I'm going to talk about the preparatory movement and the ending movement of the Qigong. So the first movement that we're going to do is called sinking the turbid qi and cleansing the organ. The reason why we do this at first is because before we do any exercise, we want to get rid of all the bad energy, negative energy, and be, be clean, and then we can start the Qigong exercise. So let me demonstrate. So the first movement of this exercise is lift up your arms. So lift up your arms, sinking of your arms. Lift up your arms, lower your arms. Now, when you lift up your arms, breathe in. When you lower your arms, breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now, let's add a little bit of mind into it. When we breathe in, imagine all the bad energy, negative emotions in your head. When you breathe out, imagine it goes, all the negative energy goes down through your body, through your feet, and then at the bottom of the feet, it goes out of your body. So, breathe in negative emotions and uh, energy in your head, breathe out through your body, through your legs, at the bottom of your feet, and then out of your body. So okay, let's do this together. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. So you can also imagine like this. Breathe in, Breathe out, imagine like a waterfall. All the water is flowing down your body, out of your body. Breathe in, breathe out. Waterfall falling down, flowing down. Now, do this with me. The speed of the movement could be adjusted to your breathing. It depends on you. If you breathe faster, then you can do the movement faster. If you breathe slower, do the movement slower. So breathing is the most important part. Breathing has to be natural. The second movement that I'm gonna teach you is called the left and right yin and yang. So I'll just demonstrate a couple times. So this movement is to flow your chi and blood into one side of your body to the other. So when you breathe in, lift up your arms. When you breathe out, lower your arms. Breathe in, lift your arms. Breathe out, lower your arms. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. In, out. So. When you breathe in, breathe out, imagine all the chi, blood, energy flow from one side of your body to the other. Breathe in, now all the chi and blood is flowing to that side. Breathe in, breathe out.
If you feel a warmth on your hands and on your bottom of your feet, then that means you're doing it right. Also, this move is really good if you have, if it's hard for you to go to sleep, insomnia, or if you're really uh, nervous, intense, uh, this can relax your emotions. So let's do it together. The last movement that I'm gonna show you today is called putting all the qi back to your dan tian. So this is the exercise that you do afterwards. So the first move, two movements, sinking the turbid qi and cleansing the organ and the left and right yin yang, we do it at the beginning of each exercise. And then in between, we will do the five animals qi gong. And at the end, we will do this movement, which is putting all your qi back to your dan tian. So here's how it looks like. First of all, we'll do three times of sinking the chi, uh, sinking the turbid chi and cleansing the organs. So that's one, two, and three. And then what you're gonna do is put your hands in the front, pull it back, breathe in, breathe out. And put your mind in your Dantian and all your energy, your Qi is in the Dantian. And you can hold this for 9 breaths, 12 breaths or even 36 breaths. So one note is for male, put your left hand here first and then your right hand. For females, right hand first and then your left hand. Make sure your thumbs are crossed. Now, these are the three movements that I want to show you today. So that was the preparatory and the ending movement. Make sure you practice at home. Next week, I'll be start to talk about the first animal, which is the tiger. I will see you next class.